Well, hey Trading View, how are you doing? This is Trade Confident, and I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to trade. Some of you guys may be new, some of you guys may be advanced, some of you guys might be far along on the road and you are live trading already. But I really want to start this channel by first of all thanking Trading View for letting me be here. I'm getting registered for live stream soon, so I'll be able to do that with you guys. But really to start teaching people from the basics of trading up to the advanced, which you know, eventually going live trading and showing you guys what that looks like. So for this episode, I want to go over how do you identify an uptrend or a downtrend? And what are the two things that every uptrend and every downtrend have? So let's start there and let's get right into it. So what we're looking at on the chart here is EURUSD. You can see by the ticker up here, and we're on a five minute chart. This is what is considered an uptrend, but how do we know it's an uptrend? When you hear people on the news say, hey, you know, Apple's in an uptrend right now, um, Google's in a downtrend, I'm just picking some names here. How do you know it's an uptrend? How do you know it's a downtrend? By two things. It's called a higher high and a higher low for an uptrend and a lower low, lower high for a downtrend. Now let me point this out here on the chart. Visually, you can tell the price is moving up here and people will think, okay, that is an uptrend. You are correct, visually that is correct, but it is always best to confirm that it's an uptrend with the higher high and higher low formation. So let's take a look at that on the chart here. Bring out the Eclipse tool. And we're gonna start down here. We're just gonna work our way up, okay? So down here is where I see the first low, all right? Price is moving up here and it moves back down. So I say, all right, let's take out an Eclipse tool again and we're gonna look at this. What is this on the chart here? If this is a low, this is a high, and what would this be right here? This would actually be our higher low, right there. Move this up just a little bit so you guys can see that, right there. So we have a low, a high, a higher low. Now, can you spot on the chart where the higher high formation is? I'll give you a second and I'll work on here getting the tool. <laughs> so the higher high formation is actually right here. It's gonna be at the top of this wick. Now you might hear people say, you know, do you pull formations at top of the wick or at the top of the body? My personal suggestion is that you always use wick values. A little side tangent is that I know there's a lot of bots out there that end up trading Forex and cryptocurrency and even stocks, and they are using price action data and they're using all the data within a candle. And that means they're also using the wick value of the candle, not just the body. So that is partly why I always suggest using a wick value for your higher highs, higher lows and lower highs, lower lows for downtrends. But right now we're in an uptrend. So let's see if you guys can spot the next higher low. So we have a low, a high, a higher low, higher high. Where is the higher low formation? Where is it on the chart? This is kind of tricky. We'll see if you can find it. What you need to do is you need to look at the high and then you need to go on the bottom of these wicks here. What you're looking for is a move up and then a move back down, creating an arrow shape up. So here's what I'm talking about. I'll zoom in here a little bit further so you can see this. See how there's a point here on the bottom of the wick, a point and a point. When it creates an arrow up, that means you've created a higher low formation. All right. Some people might like to see this just a little bit lower, you know, coming below this wick right here. But my personal opinion on this is that this is going to be a higher low formation right here. So let's come in here and place another circle. So we have a higher low. Let me get it over. Come on, circle. <laughs> All right. So the next one is we're going to look for a higher high formation. So we have a low, a high, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high formation. This is just very obvious to me on the chart that this is a higher high formation. So what we've done right now is we've identified that this is an uptrend. Now, before we go over and we look at a downtrend and what that looks like, take note of this because this is what you need to identify when you are looking at a price moving up. Are we actually in an uptrend? Not only is the price visually gonna be going up, because that's fairly easy to tell, but you also wanna make sure you're confirming the low, the high, the higher low, the higher high, the higher low, and the higher high. I usually like to see three or four points. And when I say that, I say one, two, three, one, two, three. That to me says we're in a strong uptrend, okay? Now let's take a look at a downtrend. And we're gonna use this starting right here. So right here on the chart, I'm gonna circle this with an eclipse, and this is gonna act as our starting point. So a downtrend is going to be what I say before, do you guys remember? Downtrend is lower highs and lower lows. All right, so that is our starting point. Can you identify the lower low or the next point in the downtrend? It's actually going to be right here, okay? Now, can you identify the lower high? Right here, right in this area. That's what I'm looking at. I'm looking at a high, 
a low, a lower high, and then a lower low. Okay, lower low formation is going to be right here on the chart. Eclipse tool, right here. That's what I'm looking for from a high, a low, a lower high, lower low. Can you find the lower high? It's actually right here. This candle wick did not pass this past resistance when the price was right here. So this is actually going to be our lower high formation. So come over here, Eclipse tool, and we'll point this out. And there we are. That is how you identify a downtrend and an uptrend. We've got circles everywhere, but what I encourage you to do is open a chart right now, any ticker of your choice, stock, crypto, forex, and go on the chart and look to see if you can identify the uptrend and the downtrend. Don't just visually go on there and say, hey, the price is going up, it's an uptrend. Try your best to get on there and look for the starting point. Look for that high, look for that higher low, that higher high, that higher low, that higher high, and then now you have confirmed that for an uptrend. Remember, a downtrend. We're looking for the starting point, and then we're looking for the low, the lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low. If you can do that, you've successfully identified an uptrend and a downtrend. Hope you guys had fun on this episode today, and I'll be coming out with a lot more, so stay tuned. Bye-bye.